I've heard so much information about adjusting the frog of the plane. What the frog is, it's a block of metal that's usually attached to the main sole of the plane by two set screws. Inside these components are two set screws, the two set screws here. Now then, what goes pear-shaped for me often is that people think you can move this frog back, so you un unsettle those two set screws, go into the back underneath the adjustment wheel and turn this set screw here and it will bring the frog way back in the plane, turn it clockwise and it'll send it forward. Now the sole of the plane is where I like to align the frog to. If I align the sole somewhere around there, I can finally adjust the frog when I want to. If you cinch t these two semi-tight, not super tight, just cinch them semi-tight, you can still adjust this screw when the whole assembly is together, you'll still be able to adjust this screw and it won't shake around inside the plane. So the whole of the cutting iron assembly goes on here. Now, why do I say line it up with the back of the sole of the plane? Well, I have a good reason for it because people think that you can move that frog way back and it'll keep opening the mouth up, but it's only a very small amount because if you look inside here, I'm sure you can't see it, but I can see the bevel of the plane is tight up against the sole of the plane. So no matter how much I move the frog back, the plane will only go so far. So I've got it at its maximum withdrawn setting. And that means that the plane eye and the cutting edge is about just over a sixteenth of an inch from the fore edge of the plane. Now if I want it tighter, sometimes we do want it tighter because we've got some awkward grain, we can then tighten up this screw on the back, the set screw, which is just below the adjustment wheel, and we can turn that forward and it'll move the whole of the assembly forward to close up the gap between the cutting edge and the fore edge of the sole of the plane. And this stops the shavings from rising up too far ahead of the cutting iron cutting. That's why it's there. So that's what it's for. Now then, I don't think I can tell you any more about that, except that you cannot take that frog way back and alter the distance between the cutting edge of the cutting iron and the fore part of the sole. It won't go any further back. It's a great thing to know because then you won't be deceived into thinking you can have this extra wide adjustment, you can't.